A recurring task represents activities that occur on a regular schedule, like construction walkthroughs or code reviews. With a recurring task, you can tell project about each occurrence as well as the frequency and other settings. You can insert a recurring task anywhere in your task list. In this case, I'm going to click the first blank name cell. Then on the task tab, go over to the insert section. Click the down arrow beneath the task button and choose recurring task on the drop down menu. That opens up the recurring task information dialog box. The first thing we're going to do is give this recurring task a name. So I'm going to call it project review. The next thing is to specify the duration of each occurrence. Initially, it's set to one day, but I'm going to change that to two hours. After you've done that, it's time to define the recurrence pattern. You can choose between daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly. If you select the daily option, you can specify how many days between each occurrence. For weekly, you can choose the days of the week and how many weeks in between the occurrences. For monthly, there are two options. You can pick a specific day of the month, like the 6th, or you can specify a day of the week based on when it occurs in the month. And that's the one I'm going to choose here. In the box that says first, I'm going to choose last instead. And then we're going to do this on a Friday. So now I have a project review the last Friday of every month. The next section is range of recurrence. The start starts on the project start date, and I'm going to leave that the way it is. As far as the end date is concerned, you have two choices. You can specify a date to end by, or you can select the end after option, and then in the box, say how many occurrences. And so I'm going to do that and say I'm going to end after 12 occurrences. Let's go ahead and click OK. When I do that, I now have a summary task called Project Review, and that includes 12 subtasks, one for each occurrence. You can see that they have date constraints because it specifies the day that they must occur. If you don't want to see all of the occurrences, because Project Review is a summary task, you can click the black triangle to collapse it. That way, you only see one row. The great thing is, over in the time scale, you can see the little short bars that indicate every occurrence. The other thing you can do is you can get information about the project review summary task by pointing at the recurring task icon in the indicator cell. In this case, it tells you the task occurs 12 times between January 6th and December 25th. Keep in mind that the dates won't change automatically. If your project runs longer than planned, project doesn't automatically extend recurring tasks. You have to create a new task for additional occurrences. That's how you create a recurring task for activities that occur on a regular schedule.